So what do you do when you finish uni and you're officially finished all of your exams and everything and you're waiting for your pin? It is one of those where it's sort of like you're in limbo, waiting and waiting and waiting for everything to be official. But I've been doing a lot of volunteering. I've been doing a lot of extracurricular stuff. I was Elsa. Some of you might have seen on my Instagram and things. I was Elsa for the day at our Project Give Us Fair. I'll put the picture here just in case you didn't see it. It was amazing. And um, then over the weekend, oh, I had the weekend off. I've picked up a few bank shifts over the week. And today I'm off to uni to talk about politics. We have a journalist come into the uni and they wanted to interview some people about what it's really like out on placements and how the struggle is very real out there in the NHS and the staff shortages. So that's going to be really interesting. I will update you what's happened after that. And then the rest of the week I have off. I haven't got much going on. I'm waiting for some more shifts before I move because I really need money. Um, and that's it. That's it for now. So I have filled my space with a lot of extracurricular activities. Technically, they're not extracurricular anymore because I'm not at uni, but you know what I mean. I've been doing a lot to fill up the gaps and fill up my time whilst waiting for my pin and start my new job in January. And then I've got two weeks off. I've got two weeks off guys over Christmas and I'm going away. I don't know where I'm going. It's a surprise. So I will video that as well. But yeah, I just wanted to do a little update what I've been doing and what it's like when you're just waiting for your pin. It's not much fun guys. <laughs> So that's me back from my interview at the uni. It was really, really nice. And it was really nice to see my friend. And I don't mind. I don't think she minds me saying her name. So I'm going to say it. My friend Kirsty Card. She's on Facebook. She's on Instagram. She actually works for Birmingham Live now, which is amazing. So she was actually doing my interview. And I didn't even know. I didn't recognise her. I didn't. Oh, my God. It was amazing. It was really, really nice to see Kirsty anyway. And she was doing the interviews for Birmingham Live at the uni all of about the NHS um, and the staffing levels and who were all voting in the elections. It was sort of an insight to that. So it was a little bit nerve wracking because I don't like publicly announcing who I'm voting for, but I did. And um, yeah, it went really well, I think. It went all right. She didn't ask me too many difficult questions. They were all standard and I felt like I answered as much as I could, I think, but yeah all in all it's been a good day so yeah so the rest of the week i'm going to be doing book reviews i've got a few book reviews to do which i'm going to post separately in a different vlog have a look for them and yeah that is my week until the big move this is it excuse the face excuse the pjs but i'm finishing my packing today and my last thing that i'm doing taking these bits down it's really emotional guys but here we go finished packing and now I'm off to my new adventure down in Portsmouth with my new job starting in January which is really really exciting but this is still sad it's really sad to believe in somewhere that I've made friends, I've spent the last three years of my life at university dedicated to nursing well, to be dedicated to being a student nurse and now it's all just come to an end. I don't know why I'm emotional about this, <laughs> but it's really emotional. But I know that I've got an amazing future ahead of me. And I'm really excited to get into my new job. I just need to add it is almost the time of the month for me. <laughs> so this might be why I'm so emotional. Um, 
but oh, it's just so sad seeing everything so bare <laughs> but yes onwards and upwards to my newly qualified nurse post down in Portsmouth and I've got some really exciting plans ahead of me and I've got a really exciting future and I've got a load of things that I really want to do positive change that I want to make so hopefully it's going to happen we'll see but here's to the next chapter guys I just want to thank you all so 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 much for following my journey this is not the end although <laughs> i don't know why but it feels like it right now but this is not the end i'm gonna keep vlogging i'm gonna show you my journey show you what my future holds hopefully um do some vlogs that's gonna help you on your way as well motivate you keep you going on this journey but this isn't the end this is just a new chapter for me and just want to say thank you thank you so much for those of you that have been there from the very start i appreciate you and now i'm gonna cry again <sighs> but some of you have followed my journey from the start and it's just so nice it like People don't understand how how much it really means to me. And those people that I've met, you can see how genuinely, like, just how much you warm my soul to hear all of the positive things and to hear that I've inspired a, a, quite a few of you to come into nursing, to keep going, to keep motivated. And it's just so lovely that you've been there throughout the whole of my journey. You've watched my stories and that I've helped you to do that. I've encouraged you, I've motivated you in some way and I've inspired you. And I think that's just amazing because that's why I created this channel. I didn't create it for to be YouTube famous or to get loads of money. There's no money in YouTube, guys. I, I don't do my vlogs for that. I do my vlogs because I want to make change. I want to make a difference. And if any of you are down south, give me a shout, um, give me a wave and we'll have to meet up and say hello and do amazing things down south together because that would make my day so don't be a stranger give me a shout give me a comment give me a like inbox me whatever you want to do just let me know you're down south and we can sort something out that would be amazing mm -hmm.